Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Yes, it's a little Christmas here in the middle of summer. Welcome back to Refresh a Summer in Psalms as we are working our way through the book of Psalms this summer, every weekday taking a look at a different psalm and seeing what it has to say about our life here now, our life with God, our life still to come. My name is Aaron Bublitz. I serve as pastor at Heritage Lutheran Church in Gilbert, Arizona, and it is my privilege to be walking through the book of Psalms with you this summer. So this is episode 47 on Psalm 98, uh, the psalm on which the hymn, Joy to the World, that beloved Christmas hymn is based, as we get to hear the entire world, this entire creation of God, singing his praises, singing joy for the Lord, keeping his promise to send the Savior. So a little bit of Christmas here in the middle of summer for you. Psalm 98 says, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpet and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. So you can hear that language of the hymn, Joy to the World, in there, can't you? It is the, the, the inspiration for that hymn, this Psalm 98. And uh, we have every reason to sing to the Lord a new song. A song that sings of his marvelous deeds. A song that sings of his righteousness and his salvation. And that is what we celebrate at Christmas, isn't it? That the Lord has done marvelous things for us. That he himself, his right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. Because what we see at Christmas is God himself stepping out of eternity and into time. We see God himself wrapping, wrapping himself up in human flesh to be born to come into flesh for us and for our salvation. God himself doing this on our behalf. The Lord has made his salvation known, revealed his righteousness to the nations. God himself comes to this earth and reveals himself, reveals the plan of salvation, reveals uh, what he would come to do, to, to live, to die, to rise for, for sinners. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. I, if thousands of years, God promised to send that Messiah. Thousands of years, God, God made these, these prophecies of what this Messiah would come to do, and then he did come. God remembered his love. God did not forget his people. God was faithful to all of those promises for thousands of years. He says, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. That that Savior has come to not just come for the Jews. He did not just come for Israel, but that salvation is for all people, that all the ends of the earth have access to this salvation. And this salvation has been made known to him. Jesus, that, that Savior who came at Christmas, fulfilled everything as he lived and died and rose. And then he gave that command to his church to go and proclaim this gospel to all nations, to go and make disciples of all nations, to go and make this this, this good news known to all creation, and that is what has been done. And because of all of this, the psalmist says, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. Right? And then he goes into saying how you use, use the harps, use the trumpets, all shout for joy before the Lord, our King. And then he invites nature to join the sea and the world and the rivers and the mountains. Let them all sing together. Let them all join and, and sing for joy. What a wonderful, wonderful psalm as we remember that we have reason for great joy, that our God has worked our salvation for us. You can see why this is a psalm uh, we use that at Christmas. This is a psalm that we uh, you know, use the words of and enjoy to the world as we get to sing of that joy, shout for joy, uh, make music to our God as we remember what he has done for us. This psalm ends uh, with these words. 
He says, he comes to judge the earth. He comes, he will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. So Jesus did come. He came to judge with righteousness. He came to judge with equity. He, he comes, and usually when we think of that word judge, we think of only something bad, right? Uh, judgment is a bad thing, but judgment is a good thing. When you're judged with righteousness, when you're judged with equity, that's a good thing. And that's what, what the, the coming of our Savior Jesus means for us. We are judged with righteousness, with his righteousness. He brings us in uh, the, the promise of his righteousness, that we are clothed in that, that he gives us that. I right? uh, think about uh, uh, Paul, when he writes to the Corinthians, that he, Jesus, became sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God. As Jesus takes our sin, we are given his righteousness and we are judged according to that righteousness. We are judged with the equity of, of Jesus uh, before the sight of our Heavenly Father. And so that is reason to, to sing and shout for joy too, that God judges us, our Father judges us based upon the righteousness and equity of our substitute and Savior who came for us at Christmas, who completed all things for us. What a wonderful, wonderful God we have as we get to sing of this righteousness and make it known. And Christmas is a wonderful thing, a wonderful opportunity we have to to proclaim our Savior, but uh, but it is Christmas all year long, isn't it? Uh, we don't have that joy just on Christmas Day. We have that joy all throughout the year. We have that joy here in the middle of summer as we sing this psalm and meditate upon this psalm together. That joy that lives within us, that, that joy that exudes into our, our words, that exudes into our lives, our actions, that joy that we have of living in Jesus, living in Christmas joy, all year long. That joy that we have to live, that joy that we have to share as we get to make our Savior known, as we get to make that, that, uh, that one who was born for us, who lived for us, who died for us, who rose for us, who ascended for us, who is still ruling and interceding for us, that one who will come back for us, that joy that we have in him in the gospel, that we have to live and to share. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank and praise you that you worked salvation for us with your holy arm, that you yourself came into flesh and uh, in the person of Jesus, you came and, and did what we could not. You took our place, uh, took our sins upon yourself to give us righteousness. And for that reason, we have reason for joy right now and always and forever. And so we, we invite the entire creation to join with us to sing for joy. We long to invite others uh, to know that same gospel, that same good news of a Savior, so that they might know that joy too. Joy to the world, for the Lord has come. And let us live in that joy now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray this. Amen. Great to be with you here today and in the, in the meditate upon this psalm. Again, uh, if you are being blessed by these resources, please share them with somebody else. We'd love to be able to reach more and more people with these wonderful words of the Psalms. Um, so please share them on your social media, share them um, the links, you know, text them to someone, email them to someone, uh, just share them with them so that they too uh, can, can know this joy that you have in Jesus. Uh, looking forward to be back, back with you here, here tomorrow. God's richest blessings on the rest of your day today.